Come on, five and six. Five, come in a bit. All right, we'll have that 10 meter barrier up quickly. Come on, number nine, I've got a barrier to get up now. Move! this time and down on the inside Allison Command down South Clare was slow to get going and Mr Square went out well and so did Worthy Socks and Keystone Chum. They're followed out by Mighty Miller, Great Talent followed out further back by Malvina, Kel Brighton and Stormy Mon at the rear. Into the showgrounds Ben they go now for the first time and Worthy Socks into the lead a length and a half Mr Square the breeze down on the inside Via Valari trailing. Keystone Charm and the 113 back of the inside, Mighty Miller, then Great Talent there, followed through on the inside down South Clare. They're followed a length and a half away by Cal Bride and Malvina and Stormy Mon at the rear. Into the straight they come and down past the 2,200 metres mark, Worthy Socks joined in front by Mr Square on the outside. Via Valari tucked in against the trail, then Keystone Charm still in the 1-1 one -one followed by Mighty Miller. They're followed a length away by Great Talent on the inside, Allison Command on its outside down South Clare. A length and a half, Cal Bride on the same back to Melvina, two lengths away to Stormy Morn, who's about 25 lengths off the pace as they work on to the 1900. A great battle going on for the lead, Worthy Socks on the inside and Mr Square on the other. A length and a half on Bia Valari, two or three back to Keystone Charm, they're followed a length and a half, Great Talent. A length and a half to Mighty Miller, followed a length away down South Clare, followed on the inside by Allison Command. On the outside is Cal Bride and breaking up Mr Square, three or four back to Melvina. And two lengths away to Stormy Morn, who can't get warm at the moment. Down the back straight they go, 1600 out, Worthy Socks about to be joined by Down South Clare. Mr Square settled quickly, followed by Via Valari, Great Talent, Keystone Charm is three deep. Cal Bryden on the outside of Keystone Charm on the fence to Mighty Miller. They're followed on the outside by Malvina, down on the fence, Allison Command. And round the outside, Stormy Morn still 15 lengths off the pace with Worthy Socks, the leader. The breeze on the outside, the Victorian down south, clear down on the inside. We've got Via Valari, the trail. Great talents in the 1-1, one, one, trapped out in no man's land as Mr Square. Three deep on the inside as Keystone Charm. He's well bottled up with Cal Brighton on his outer. On the outside of those two then, we've got Belvina and here he comes, the old fella. And it's Stormy Morn making a run down the outside, Ellison Command. And down on the inside of those are going to Mighty Miller. They're about a thousand out, Worthy Socks down south clear. Round the outside, Stormy Morn on the inside of those to Via Valari. On its outside, Great Talent wider out to Mr Square. On the fence to Keystone Charm on its outside, Cal Brighton wider out to Melvina. And the last two are Allison Command and down on the inside, Mighty Miller. On they go now to the 800 metres mark and Worthy Sox still the leader. From down south, clear on the inside is Via Valari. Wide out on the track, Stormy Morn in between them, Great Talent. On the fence and three deep is Keystone Charm, Mr Square. They're followed by Kel Brighton. Down on the inside, Mighty Miller, Malvina and Ellison come out at the rear. Eight lengths from first to last as they go at the showground bend. It's Worthy Socks with down south, Claire on the outside. Via Valari and Stormy Morn. Great talent, then Keystone Charm. Then Kel Brighton, the favourite. He's still about five lengths off the pace but putting a spurt on now. Past the 400, then Mighty Miller. They're followed Mr Square and Malvina dropping away. Onto the lane they come now and it's Worthy Socks. Socks down South Clare, and here's Cal Brighton putting in a mighty run around the outside. Into the straight and down South Clare went to the lead. In behind them, Cal Brighton down to the inside, Worthy Socks. They're followed by Via Valari battling on to Allison Command. Down South Clare and Tara Cal Brighton on the outside. Down South Clare's got the better of Cal Brighton though. And down South Clare has got it one from Cal Brighton. Mighty Miller takes third, Keystone Charm fourth. They're followed by Via Valari, Worthy Socks, Allison Command. They're followed in by great talent, further back, Stormy Morn dropped away, Mr Square, and last of all, we had Balvina. Well, there's some consolation for the Australians. Dickie Lee, with down South Clare, won the consolation very comfortably, really. A very good effort because the mare was parked out for just over a round, and they were pinging along a bit in the last little bit, and she stuck to her guns in rear style. Dick Lee, the driver and the trainer, he'll be happy because she made a much better beginning tonight. She was a bit slow but quite safe. Took her up and sat outside Worthy Socks for most of the last round and won very nicely from the New Zealander, Cal Bryden.
Now let's have a look and see what happened as they turn for home. You'll see Worthy Socks is there on the fence. Down South Clare is on the outside of Worthy Socks. Dick Lee just urging her along a little and she's responding pretty well. Cal Bryden in the orange coming down the outside, driven by John Newbury. And at this stage looks as though he just might be able to run up to the Australian mare. But Dick Lee says, go girl, and she certainly does. She sticks her head out and runs on very determinedly and looks as though she's got it nicely in safekeeping here. Cal Bryden battling along but isn't doing any better. And down on the fence, Mighty Miller is coming home pretty well as well. So it looks like it might be an Australian benefit just about. They get down towards the post. Number two down south clear. One more with the whip and that's all that's required. She goes to the post and wins it by around about a length and a half. Cal Bryden is just as easily second. There's a fair gap back to the third horse and it looks as though just coming into view now we've got the other Australian pacer number six mighty miller and uh, neil evans will be absolutely delighted with that performance i would think because he was well back all the way and obviously the old fellow got a great run up on the fence and ran on particularly well placings are 2 10 6 at this stage of things subject to confirmation of the judge but a very good performance and down south clear a worthy winner of the trotters consolation You know, John, we spoke to Dick before the uh, championship started and he promised he'd sing for us if he won the grand final. Now, I don't know how we're going to work it, but we're going to have to get him to sing at some stage and I think winning the Trotters' consolation is, uh, is some reward and I think that's good enough to make him sing. Terribly nice fellow, Dick Lee, and uh, we all know uh, how... how uh, much he's enjoyed his stay in New Zealand and he really did want the New Zealand public to see this mare at her very, very best and he and we saw her tonight. And Dick Lee perhaps won't sing a whole song for the consolation but he might be good for one verse anyway. Actually there's quite an interesting sidelight story to this mare because uh, in fact um, she has been in a situation that uh, uh, to settle her in here uh, the trainer Dick Lee has had uh, all sorts of pot plants outside her stall. He's had uh, a, a cage with a, a budgie in it just to settle her in because she's used to having a cockatoo back in uh, her hometown of Colac. And uh, so for her, it's just to make her feel at home. What a lovely mare she is. Down South Clare. Made it at last, yeah. Yep. Well, Dick Lee, you made it. Consolation race, and you got the consolation prize by getting a win anyway. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was delighted with the, her efforts. You know, we've been a bit unlucky her galloping away, but she's been a bit sore. And anyway, she put it all together tonight. Yes, yeah, so I was going. Uh, one of the uh, one of the things you did promise to, to do, I, I seem to remember, if you won the championship, was to sing us a song. Now, I, I suppose is the consolation good enough for us? Well, I suppose I could do that. Uh, Perhaps I could do a verse or something, not a full one, because I've only won the consolation. Well, do a verse then. Just All now. Right. Yes. Right. And when the fields are fresh and green, I will take you to your home. You're a man of many talents. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, lovely Thank stuff. You. Thank you very much, Dick. And uh, so soreness has been the major problem that you've, you've had with us oh, yes. over here. Yeah. And, uh, well, what now? I'll be looking forward to the free-for-all next Saturday night. Right. Okay, against the Dick, big ones. Congratulations.